friends welcome back to code tonight so welcome to a interesting video because we will try today how to implement the audio call and video call in your application so basically you cannot implement video call and audio call without any third party integration so what we will we will be trying is we will be trying to use quick blocks which is a third party library that allows us to uh, implement the uh, audio and video calls and even chat functionality in our project so uh, about quickbooks first what we have to learn is how to create a quickbooks account because first we have to create that account and we will use the credentials from there in our project okay now quickbooks provides us the javascript code uh, sample that actually uses webrtc to make video call and audio calls okay so we will provide you the code and you can download that so now first of all as the first step is to create a quick blocks account we will just see that okay so we will type quick blocks sign up and you can go to the first link over there and uh, i will just try to sign out and so you can actually see what i did okay so i just clicked on continue with google so you can actually uh, create your account using the um, emails okay so you can create or uh, click on your gmail and then you will be sign up with that gmail now they will ask you to create a new app and you can click on that so now they will ask you to be writing the title okay so we will be typing code night test we will not uh, uh, upload the image you can type the url so i have this sample url with me uh, that is our official website okay so now i will select other here now other things you don't need to enter now click on create okay so what we got here is we got application id authorization key authorization secret and all count key so where we will need all this we have to see okay so as i said we have this sample code and i just downloaded that code so now i will go to the code and we will see what we have to do is we have to go to the code and there you will go to samples and then you will go to webrtc okay so webrtc is basically used for the for setting the connection between machines and, and this is just a javascript based code okay so in this file you will see this index.html before going to that we have to go to js and no not js actually we have to look for config.js okay right click on that and open with uh, you can open with notepad or whatever you have for editing the files okay so if i open this with notepad so initially these values will be blank by default and here you have to enter the values that you got from the account okay so application id authorization key authorization secret and account key and these all are needed to be added uh, here okay so once you have done that you can actually go back here and you can open up the index.html file double click on that and it will open up the application okay so now see the first page here it will ask for the permissions of microphone and camera you can allow now this username is basically just some random name so i will say user 3 because i have two users already okay so now i will say login 3 i will say login okay so this is just as you can see it is saying javascript web artist is sample okay so because it is javascript you can actually copy the same files in your project and that will work fine now we will click allow again and you can see we have two users here already we have audio call button we have video call button so what i have actually done is i have i have set up the same project in my other system also now when you will publish it somewhere then you will not uh, need it to do anything but uh, because uh, currently i am working from local so i need it to get the same code in other screen other system also so here also i will log in with uh, um, user 4 okay and test 4 
I will give the name and we will click on login. Okay. So remember that uh, the credentials must be same uh, for quick blocks uh, in both of the systems. Okay. So now click on allow. So you can see here we are logged in from user 4 and you can also see user 3 which we created from other system. Okay. So see here we refresh then you will also see user 4. Okay. So now what you have to do is you have to select the user and you will click on audio call. Okay. So when you click on audio call, you will go to the other, it will ask for permission, you will click on allow, it will go to other system and you will see call from user 3. Okay, so you could see that uh, when I... Uh, clicked on audio call from there it actually connected to this system okay and we got pop-up saying accept or decline okay so that's how it just uh, uh, calls to other system okay now if we try to video call so basically because i am on mic so it may create some confusion okay so i will just try and video call i will click from here and it will ask for permission So I actually don't want to allow the mic, but we have to allow the mic. Okay. Now this is our other system and here you will see a call request. Okay. So see, and now if you accept, it will ask for permission again. And if you provide, you will see uh, the video call starting. So you can see that video call may not work because here uh, I am recording video from the same system and, and that may cause issue. Okay, so if you will try at and view at your end, you will be able to see both of the pictures uh, of the um, sender and the receiver. Okay, so uh, that will work fine. Okay. So um, this is a call functionality that you can easily attach into your project. What you have to do is uh, now we will have a look at that. Okay. So here we have some JS files. If you copy all these files into your system and then what you will need is you will just need to uh, create a page where you will call those JS files. Okay. And then simply you can implement this in your project. Okay. So because it is a JavaScript code, there is not much to worry about anything. Okay. So this is how you can actually integrate quick blocks, video call and audio call. You can just get the sample code and that will work perfectly fine. And you can try to implement in your project. So thanks for watching guys. And if you have any questions about this, quick book then you can comment on the video and uh, thanks for watching